Hi everyone, welcome to Google Cloud Next and to this session, why now is the right time to migrate your apps to manage databases on Google Cloud. My name is Sujata Mandava, and I'm the product management leader for Cloud SQL. Joining me later is Joseph Zirelli, senior software engineer for Major League Baseball. In this session, we'll first talk about the challenges with self-managing databases. We'll then discuss how Cloud SQL can help you with your database needs, followed by a quick look at the latest advances in Cloud SQL. Finally, Joe will share his MLB journey with Cloud SQL. Let's get started. Managing databases is hard. Once you get the database provisioned and configured, you need to spend time maintaining them, keeping them up to date on versions and patches. You also need to monitor and troubleshoot any performance issues that may arise. As your organization grows, you need to support new integrations with applications and analytic tools, all the while keeping costs under control. This operational burden leaves you with fewer cycles to spare on innovation. Self-managing also means you need to keep implementing security and data protection measures to avoid data breaches to protect your data. You also need to implement and maintain data resiliency for business continuity reasons. You need to comply with different regulations. All this just adds up to your responsibilities. We hear the same from you when you talk about your challenges around scaling your team to meet the demands of the growing business and supporting analytic integrations. So how can Cloud SQL help? Cloud SQL reduces the operational toil and frees you up to innovate faster. With Cloud SQL, you can spin up database instances quickly, manage them very easily, and get critical insights into the database performance with an out-of-the-box monitoring. You can also leverage first-class integrations with services like BigQuery, GKE, that improves the agility and data-driven innovation in your organization. <clears throat> Cloud SQL reduces risk with advanced security controls, data protection capabilities that not only help you secure your data, but also keep up with the ever-changing regulatory requirements. Cloud SQL is a trusted, integrated, and intelligently managed database services for some of the most popular relational databases in the world, MySQL, Postgres, SQL Server. Cloud SQL is easy to set up, operate and scale. With just a few clicks, you can create a highly available instance, auto-scale storage with replicas across the region and have multi-regional backups that can support today's global applications. Cloud SQL makes it easy for you to control, track and review data access with tools like IAM authentication, database audit, access transparency and more. With an API first approach, Cloud SQL simplifies deployment and configuration at scale. The application-centric observability helps with troubleshooting and performance tuning of your application. It is no wonder that 90% of Google Cloud's top 100 customers use Cloud SQL. Some of the biggest organizations in the world are actively using and benefiting from these capabilities. In a recent research study, IDC concluded that with Cloud SQL, you get a whopping 246% return on investment compared to self-managed on-prem databases. It is 96% faster to create and deploy a new database instance with Cloud SQL. As you can see, it's used by tens of thousands of customers across industries, across the world, ranging from e-commerce to supply chain to automobile manufacturing. Here are some of them talking about how Cloud SQL enables them to provide a better customer experience, better customer outcomes by spending less time on managing and scaling the infrastructure. Looking ahead, 
what's coming up on Cloud SQL. Let's talk about some of our recent investments. While our focus has been on providing enterprise capabilities that make it easier to lift and shift your databases to Cloud SQL, we've also been investing in reducing the operational overhead that's typically taken for granted in a self-managed world. Let's start with SQL Server. With SQL Server, you can create read replicas where your read workload is, either in the same region of, as your primary instance or a different region or both. We've also made it easier for you to replicate your SQL Server data to an external instance with the recently launched SQL Server as a publisher feature. With transactional replication running under the hood, SQL Server as a publisher gives you the flexibility to use standard edition to replicate data to external environments for additional processing and redundancy. A new addition to SQL Server's capabilities is database auditing, which allows you to monitor database changes like data inserts and table deletions. Finally, SQL Server also now offers major version upgrades, in-place major version upgrades and edition upgrades, making it easier for you to stay up to date with the newest version and unlock the capabilities that higher editions offer. Now, continuing on the track of major version upgrades, we now have this feature GA in MySQL and public preview in Postgres. The ability to preserve the IP addresses, users, and settings on the upgraded instance makes, it, makes what is a lengthy and tedious task fast and extremely simple. Preparing for DR. Preparing for DR with a low RTO is now easier than ever with Cloud SQL. You can now enable HA for any read replica, and when promoted, it becomes a standalone instance with HA without any additional configuration. This dramatically reduces RTO, with the improvement especially noticeable for large database instances. We also recently launched cascading replicas. This makes it easy to mirror the primary region topology into a DR region, simplifying DR while reducing replication load on the primary. Now let's talk about data protection. We recently launched two new features to help you better protect your data. With password policy, you can enforce policies for password length, complexity, rotation, and more, making it easier to adhere to compliance requirements for local users. With delete protection, you can now safeguard your Cloud SQL instances from accidental deletion and avoid the anxiety that follows in restoring it. Now let's switch gears a little bit and talk about observability, insights, recommenders, and more. Query Insights helps you detect, diagnose, and prevent query performance problems for Cloud SQL databases. Supports intuitive monitoring, provides diagnostic information that goes beyond detection it actually helps you root cause the performance problem. You can monitor performance at an application level and trace the source of the problematic query across the application stack. Today, Insights is available on Postgres, MySQL just went GA, and AlloyDB is in preview. System Insights. System Insights provides an overall dashboard for monitoring the health of the database, can help diagnose and identify issues to prevent incidents and improve performance. You can see the current resource usage, but also how frequently you're approaching resource saturation limits, making problem detection extremely easy. System Insights is available today in preview mode for both Postgres and AlloyDB. Goal of observability is about helping you identify the problem as soon as it happens and sometimes even before it happens. To quickly get value out of the growing database telemetry, we've introduced proactive recommendations powered by Active Assist. These new intelligent recommendations help you detect and right-size over-provision instances and idle Cloud SQL instances. These features are in GA, and some of our customers have gained up to 20% cost savings just by using these recommendations. Let's move on to security recommenders. With this feature, you get continuous detection of security vulnerabilities, checks for risky, risky security configurations that helps you protect your data. You can get recommendations on unencrypted connections, broad public IP access, and more, along with easy to follow steps 
to resolve the configuration issues. Finally, performance recommenders. Performance recommenders helps you adopt best practices for configuring Cloud SQL database instances. These recommenders identify and help you resolve common misconfigurations that increase the risk of performance degradation, downtime, or being out of compliance with Cloud SQL's operational guidelines. We are excited to announce the preview of security and performance recommenders for Cloud SQL at Google Cloud Next. Given our commitment to open standards, we are merging SQL comment Commenter, an open source object relational mapping ORM library with open telemetry and open source observability framework. I'm happy to share that we just completed the merge of our first Python library with open telemetry. We're really excited about these new Cloud SQL capabilities and invite all of you to try them out. With that, I would like to welcome Joe to share his Cloud SQL experience with us. Hey, Joe, welcome to the Google Cloud Next as well as this session. Thanks, Jatha. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. Awesome. So whenever I think of MLB, I think of the baseball games I've been to. I watch the Giants, the A's, the White Sox, many more games because I have a family who's crazy about sports. For folks that are not familiar with baseball, can you give us an overview of MLB? And also along with that, your challenges with managing on-prem databases. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, first, awesome to hear that you're a baseball fan. Uh, that's always great to hear. And yeah, for those non-baseball fans out there who may not know what MLB is, we are the professional sports organization behind the highest level of competitive baseball in the world. Uh, we featured some of the greatest athletes of all time, like Babe Ruth and Jackie Robinson, all the way up to present day superstars like Aaron Judge and Shohei Otani. Um, so for those of you who are familiar with baseball, when you think of MLB, you probably think of players like those or your favorite team. Uh, but what you may not realize is how much technology we have behind the scenes that's so vital to the state of the sport today. Uh, things like the MLB TV streaming service to give fans access to watch all the games, um, all the on-field technology we use to capture stats data that we provide to fans, and even the software systems we build to assist with league and front office operations. And one of those systems uh, known as EBIS, uh, which runs the live MLB draft and allows team front offices to submit player transactions like trades and free agency signings, uh, was previously using legacy enterprise database hosted on premises, uh, which caused a lot of pain points for our engineering team. Um, so firstly, we really didn't have a lot of in-house expertise in the legacy database that we were using. And we had a very small team, of just two people who we need to go through whenever we needed any kind of DevOps work done or maintenance work, so things like backing up the database or restoring, and even stuff like debugging deadlocks um, was really challenging for us. Um, also, because we were on a paid license enterprise database, uh, we were limited to the by the number of licenses we had. Uh, so that really restricted our development team because we could only have a certain number of environments and we only had one instance per environment. Uh, so all of our read and write workflows would go through that same instance. And because we were putting so much load on it, uh, we were always worried that our database would experience degraded performance, especially during big events like the live televised MLB draft. And if things were to go wrong, we'd have to pause the draft to allow teams more time to pick their players, which would be really stressful. Yeah, and we don't want that to happen, definitely. So thank you for that introduction and walking us, of course, through all your challenges. So what made you choose Cloud SQL? Yes, so back a few years ago, um, MLB chose to switch to Google Cloud Platform as its cloud computing provider. Uh, so we we're already in the process of moving our applications and services to a lot of other GCP products like Kubernetes Engine, PubSub, Cloud Functions, and some of our newer products were even already using Cloud SQL. Um, in addition to that, we were looking to standardize our relational database management system around Postgres company-wide so that we could build in-house expertise around a single database instead of needing our a rather small engineering team to be proficient across many different databases. Um, so we knew we wanted to move to Postgres and we were already running mostly everything in GCP. So naturally we looked at Cloud SQL and we saw that supported all the database flags that we needed. And also we thought that it could solve a lot of our problems around high availability and automation. Um, so yeah, for high availability, uh, all we had to do is enable Google, uh, Cloud SQL's high availability feature, uh, which was just a simple configuration update. And right away we had protection against regional outages. 
Um, as for automation, uh, at MLB, we use Terraform to provision and manage our infrastructure, and Google provides Terraform modules for Cloud SQL. So we were able to create new instances with just a few lines of Terraform code, and we could spin them up in minutes with the exact configuration we wanted. Um, we also leverage Google Cloud's APIs to create an automated backup restore process, taking that from what used to be a four-hour manual process to a 20-minute automated workflow, which allows us to easily replicate production issues and fix them as quickly as possible. And probably the biggest win for us was that we could finally offload some of our read-only workflows by creating read replicas. And again, all this was was a couple lines of Terraform code, and we now have all of our reporting servers and our read-only API servers running against the replicas instead of against the main DB, which has helped us drastically improve our database performance. So this was actually the first year running the MLB draft on Cloud SQL. And because of all these improvements we were able to make, we were able to go into draft day with a ton of confidence that our systems work properly and our fans could just enjoy the broadcast without interruption and players waiting to be selected can enjoy one of the biggest moments in their life without the suspense of our system crashing. Awesome. That is so great to hear. I'm sure our product and engineering teams will be excited to hear that, um, that you've been able to overcome these challenges with Cloud SQL. So now that you're successfully running and scaling with Cloud SQL, what's next? Yes, so there's a ton of great new features for Cloud SQL that we're looking to incorporate into our day-to-day -day operations. Um, we're already using query insights to identify our slowest queries or our big sluggers, to make a bad baseball pun, uh, which allows us to be proactive about our performance issues and address them before users report them. Um, we're also really excited to start using System Insights and plan on using it as our main monitoring tool in the upcoming postseason and off-season events. And also, now that we have this ability to create new database instances left and right, it's important to keep our costs down. And with the cost recommender tool, uh, it'll let us know if we have any oversized or idle instances and give us recommendations on how to appropriately size them so we can keep our operational costs down and the league can invest more in what's really important, fan experience and growing the game of baseball. Awesome. Yes. And given these macroeconomic conditions and all the more important. So thank you, Joe, for sharing your experiences with Cloud SQL and looking forward to continuing this incredible partnership. Yeah, likewise, Jonathan. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. With that, I'd like to invite you to start your migration journey with Cloud SQL today. Here are some resources to help you get started. Thank you for joining us with this session and have a great Cloud Next. 2022.